But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results given that I just did this myself at home and it only took four whitening sessions. everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I make videos mostly about my Invisalign experience. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to stick around and subscribe. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different and I'm gonna be whitening my teeth with my Invisalign trays. So here pretty soon, I'm actually gonna be taking a break from Invisalign, but before I get my retainer, I'm gonna be getting a veneer over this tooth and I just want to make sure that my teeth are as white as they possibly can be before I get my veneer. So the veneer is matching white teeth and not super yellow teeth. I am going to be doing this at home. My dentist sent me home with some whitening gel and some instructions and I'm actually going to be using the trays themselves to put the whitening gel in. I've never done this before so full disclosure I don't really know what I'm doing I'm just gonna follow these instructions and we'll see how it turns out in the end I'm pretty sure you have to do this whitening a few times before you get your final result so this is whitening session number one I will go ahead and insert some before pictures or a before video of what my teeth look like right now so we can see how yellow they are and yeah we'll see what they turn out like in the end Okay, I've got my handy dandy instructions here. It's a numbered list. So let's just go through this one by one. Number one, floss and brush your teeth. It actually says floss and brush our teeth. Interesting. Okay, let's floss and brush our teeth. Two, place a small teardrop amount of gel in each tooth compartment in the tray. I have this little thing. I guess I just snap the end off of it here. That's what it looks like. They did tell me I don't have to put the gel in all of the trays because not all of my teeth are really visible, like the back ones, for example. So I'll probably just do like the first eight. Those are the most visible for me. Okay, I'm just trying to inject. Is that the right term? So as you can hopefully see, I've got little drops of gel on the front of each tooth. Really quick, I'm gonna do my bottom trays as well. I almost forgot. Okay, bottom trays have the gel in them. I just realized I'm kind of losing daylight. I didn't plan this out very well. Um, okay, number three, place the tray with the gel in your mouth. Keep away from the gums. Remove excess gel with your finger or dry toothbrush. When inserting the tray, be careful not to push the gel out. I feel like that's gonna be difficult. You may see bubbling within your trays while wearing them. This bubbling is actually part of the whitening process. We're supposed to wear the trays for 30 minutes a day until I reach my desired results. All right, let's put these puppies in. I don't know why I'm scared. Tray number one is in. Number two. Definitely hear it bubbling. It is 9.02. I'm gonna get ready for bed and I'll meet you back here once the 30 minutes is up. All right, it's been 30 minutes. It is now officially 9.32. So I'm gonna take my trays out. The very last step is just removing the trays, rinsing them with cold water, and then it says if necessary, use a toothbrush to remove any residual gel from the trays and your teeth. So that sounds easy enough. Ooh wee, that's some gel is sticky. Now I'm just gonna rinse this tray to make sure all the gel is completely off of it before I put it back in my mouth. All right, bottom tray is out now. The gel doesn't taste bad. It has like a mint flavor, but it's just really sticky and weird feeling on the teeth. It doesn't feel right. All right my trays have been cleaned. My teeth have been cleaned from the gel. So here's what we're working with. Can't really tell a huge difference. I will say I see white spots. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I've got three or four more of those little uh, gel injector things. 
I know that's probably not the proper term for those, but I have several more of those. So I'm gonna be doing them a few more times before my veneer appointment. And hopefully over time, I'll see a bigger difference. So yeah. Hello, it's been about a week since I filmed that last footage that you just saw. I have been extremely sick with COVID. I would not wish it on anyone. It's been absolutely awful. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, but if you can tell in my voice, I'm still not 100%. Um, that being said, I'm feeling well enough to go out and do things. So my veneer appointment is actually tomorrow. I have whitened my teeth two more times since you saw that last footage, and I am gonna be whitening them a fourth and final time today and they're gonna be as white as they possibly can be. So we'll see how they're looking after this final whitening session. One thing I've learned the last couple times that I whiten my teeth is just how important it is to avoid your gums. The first time I whitened them, I did a pretty good job at being careful with that. But the second and third time, I was a little bit careless, put a lot of gel in the trays, thinking that it was just gonna make my teeth whiter and it got all over my gums and it's the worst feeling, it burned really bad. So don't do that to yourself. I've got the gel in my trays. I tried to go a little bit easier on the gel just so I don't get any on my gums. And yeah, hopefully I accomplished that. Tray number two. Okay, <clears throat> 30 minutes is up, so let's see how they're looking. Okay, it's a little bit hard to tell in the yellow lighting in my background, so I'm trying to face the window to give a little bit more natural light. But I do feel like I can tell a difference compared to last week. I'm still seeing kind of like this patchiness, but every other time I've whitened my teeth, that has gone away um, by the next day. So that's not something that is lasting very long, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results given that I just did this myself at home and it only took four whitening sessions. So I will put in some official before and after photos so you guys can get a better look. But otherwise, I really appreciate you watching this video and bearing with me while I'm not feeling my best. Um, and I hope that if you're trying to whiten your teeth at home with your Invisalign trays, that this video was helpful in some capacity. So anyway, I'm going to hop off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, I tried to include some photos in a variety of lighting, but as you can see here, I've got some staining. And then my teeth look super yellow here. This is a still from one of my past videos with um, natural lighting. And this is one of my after photos. You can see some of those stains have lifted on the side. And this is a photo with flash, but as you can see, my teeth are so much whiter.